This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So last week, we had another all M19 Against the Odds poll, and in the end, it was Apex of Power, the huge 10 mana sorcery coming out on top. So this week, we are heading to Standard to play Apex of Power combo, a deck that is hoping to resolve an Apex of Power and just win the game as it resolves. So we're going to see how this goes. 10 mana is a lot, but we can do some pretty sweet things when everything comes together. So a super quick reminder before we break down Apex of Power combo for Standard. If you enjoy this deck, and you enjoy Against the Odds in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Apex of Power, starting with the namesake card, Apex of Power itself. So Apex of Power, roughly a million mana, 10 mana, but it is very powerful. You exile the top 7 cards of your library, until the end of your turn you can cast non-land cards that were exiled that way. And and then, if you cast Apex of Power from your hand, you get to choose a color and add 10 mana of that color. So, while you probably won't have too much mana left over after casting Apex of Power, you do get 10 mana back of a color of your choice to help cast the things that you hit with Apex of Power. So, obviously, to make Apex of Power work, you gotta be able to cast it. That's challenge one. And in building this deck, it was basically a two-prong approach. Being able to actually cast Apex of Power, and then step two was figuring out how to make it so Apex of Power was as game winning as possible when it resolved. So if you're going to spend 10 mana on Apex of Power, you really want it to win the game. You don't want to do all that work and then, I don't know, cast a Glimmer of Genius and, you know, draw a couple cards and maybe play a creature. If you're building around this card, you got to make it so it's a combo kill. So that's kind of the idea of the deck. Ramp into Apex of Power and then hopefully combo kill with it. So to ramp into Apex of Power, we got a few different options. Not super crazy ones, these are kind of the good ramp cards in standard. Grow from the Ashes, spring to mind, start off our ramp curve on turn number three. And then, if we want to, we can get some extra upside from Grow from the Ashes on turn five, finding two lands, spring to mind, we can flashback to remove spells, or aftermath to remove spells. Our promise, on the other hand, is pretty nice because it makes a couple of chump blocking zombies to help us stay alive, and it searches up non-basic, so we can get lands that like draw us a card, or Field of Ruins, or Deserts with active abilities, but the main plan of all these cards is to ramp into our Apex of Power. So in theory, there's some ways of cheating Apex of Power in play, like Wildfire Eternal. The problem with that plan is it only works as an instant, essentially, since if you're hitting with Wildfire Eternal, then you got to use all the mana from Apex of Power right away to cast those cards. So it's a little bit weird. Plus, you got to play a lot of weird cards. You got to play Wildfire Eternal, which dies. Probably got to play a way to make it unblockable. Your opponent will just block it. So there's a lot of weird things about that. So we're going with a ramp plan, rapid to Apex of Power, and then as far as winning the game with Apex of Power, we're trying to hit a couple of different cards. So first off, key piece number one is Brass's Bounty. So Brass's Bounty makes a bunch of mana. It makes a treasure for each land we control. It costs seven mana. So this card does two things for our deck. First off, it can ramp us into Apex of Power. If we go three mana ramp spell on turn three, so like Spring to Mine or our Grow from the Ashes, on turn four we can play Our Promise, on turn 5, we'll have enough mana to play Brass's Bounty, make 7 treasures, and then on turn 6, we have enough mana with treasures left over to cast Apex of Power. The other thing it does is it gives us more mana with Apex of Power. So if we're casting Apex of Power, most likely we already have like 10 lands on the battlefield. So if we hit Brass's Bounty off Apex of Power, it's essentially like a ritual. We can spend our Apex of Power mana to cast Brass's Bounty, get treasures, and that gives us more mana to cast the rest of the cards we hit with Apex of Power. It can also just win us the game. So when we Apex of Power, if we hit Brass's Bounty and Marionette Master, chances are we just win right away, because we cast Brass's Bounty with Apex of Power mana, make a bunch of treasures, use the rest of our natural mana, and a couple of treasures maybe to cast Marionette Master, put the counters on it, sacrifice some of the treasures, and just drain our opponent out of the game right away. So that's kind of the main combo kill of the deck. Rampant Apex, cast Apex, hopefully hit Brass's Bounty or Marionette Master, 
Also worth noting that if we have two Apex of Power, we can cast one, use the mana to cast another one, or if we have enough mana, we can even hit another Apex of Power with Apex of Power, cast that one. Yes, we don't get the mana, but if we just have like 30 treasure tokens, that's fine. So we can go through our entire deck really quickly once we get to the point of casting Apexes of Power, and then sooner or later, we're going to hit multiple Brass's Bounties, potentially, Marinette Master, and just drain our opponent out of the game. We also have another backup plan, which is Fight with Fire. So Fight with Fire, Kicker, and I'm costing 9 mana. Apex of Power gives us 10 mana, so we can just 10 our opponent's face with Fight with Fire, or use it like a crazy sweeper, where we kill all of our opponent's creatures, and then kind of wait till next turn, and Apex again. We got so much mana that we can do all kinds of crazy things. Otherwise, we got some utility spells just to kind of hold everything together. A Braid for early game also hits artifacts. Harness Lightning can kill bigger things. It can just speed. We got some Glimmer of Geniuses to make some extra energy. Sweltering Suds, our Devastation is Sweepers. For card draw, Glimmer Genius, mentioned it. Good way to dig through our deck, find our Sweepers, find our Ramp, find our Apex eventually. Search for his Kanta, really awesome in the late game because we get a ton of mana, then we can activate it, find Apex of Power, maybe even cast it in the same turn and just really go to town or find Brass's Bounty and make tons of mana. So very, very strong in our deck because we're so spell heavy. As far as the mana base, Deserts primarily to support our Hour of Promise to make some zombies. Can also do other things, scavenger grounds to hate on graveyard decks, a bunch of dual lands, some cycling lands, Arch of Araska, good tutor target for our promise to draw cards, Field of Ruin to blow up opposing as contas and such, a bunch of basic lands. In the sideboard, we get more removal for aggro, Magma Spray for the early game, Sweltering Suns is a sweeper, Hour of Glory, in this deck probably better than Veraska's Contempt, even though it doesn't have Planeswalkers, because it's only one black mana, we don't have that many black sources in the deck, but a way to get rid of Scarab Gods, Hazorads, for control, negate Doom Falls to attack our opponent's hand. Carnage Tyra is a finisher that gets through counters. Palaka Word for aggro just to gain some life. Sorcerer's Spyglass for like Heart of Curance to Fairies, etc. And that is Apex of Power combo for standard. And that's our against the odds deck for this week. So is this deck gonna work? Ah, I mean, I think the combo should work. If we actually can ramp into our Apex of Power, I think there's a pretty good chance that we're just going to cast tons of stuff, make tons of mana, get a Marionette Master, win the game. The question's going to be, are we able to ramp into it before we're dying? Like, 10 mana is about as expensive as it gets in Standard, so we really need to draw our ramp spells or our removal to stay alive, so it should be interesting. I think it's going to be spectacular in the games where we cast Apex of Power. Question's going to be, how often does that actually happen and that's what we're gonna find out so the good game should be awesome the bad games uh at least they'll probably be quick anyway that's apex of power combo for standard that's our good odds deck for this week i'm gonna stop rambling let's get to the gameplay so you can see how it works thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll be back in a bit with a wrap up all right uh against odds time we are looking to Apex of Power in standard. And we'll keep this. Uh, we got our ramp. Seems fine. Sheltered Thicket, you. Opponent, planes, and passes. Rootbound Craig, you. Opponent, cycle, uh, control. All right. Cycles cast out. Opponent. All right. Does look like control. Plays an island and passes. I'll play the swamp and let's just spring for a island. Pass the turn. Opponent cycles. Yep. Opponent. Scattered Grove. I'll uh, play scavenger grounds. Our promise. Uh, we need desert desert. So take rivulet and deadlands. Get our zombies. Pass the turn. Rivulet for our opponent. Opponent springs. All right, opponent is also ramping. Gets a forest and passes. Whew. Another apex of power. Well, go attacking with our zombies. Hit our opponent. Spring for a mountain. Spring for a, I guess a forest. Pass the turn. Well, if we draw an untap land, we get to cast an apex of power next turn. Opponent passes. All right, well, go attacking. I think we're gonna try to do it. Hit our opponent with the zombies. Cast Hinterland Harbor, and yeah, I mean, we're gonna go for it. Apex of power. Hopefully our opponent does not counter it. Oh, opponent! Boo and hiss. Opponent, that is not fun. And a seal, oh my god. Oh, opponent, opponent, I am very displeased. I am very displeased, opponent. Oh, we would have won the game if that resolved. Opponent's passing. 
Well, attack with our zombie. Hit our opponent. Play Brass's Bounty. Resolves. Let's just wait. We're going to wait till next turn. I don't think our opponent can win this turn. Next turn, we can cast Apex of Power into Marionette Master. Search for his Kanta. Sure. Opponent's passing. All right. We play a Wazes, and we're going to spin the wheel again. Yeah. Apex of Power. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Uh, add red mana. Brass's Bounty. Whoo! This is it. This is it. Here comes the treasures. Make some treasure. Brass's Bounty. <laughs> this is pretty much how we imagined it. Brass's Bounty. Make some treasure. Fight with fire with kicker. And if this doesn't work, we still have a marionette master at hand. Whoo, combo. It's a combo. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's how we imagined it going when we resolve an apex of power. Okay. Uh, that was very good. That was very, very good. And exactly what we were hoping was going to happen. So bring out our early game removal. Bring in negates. Bring in doom falls. Bring in carnage tyrants. Go down sweltering suns. Go down hour of devastations. Go up palaka worm. And I think we go up spyglass. Actually, I don't think we want palaka worm. All right. Well, that was exactly what we were imagining this tech would do. So many brasses bounties. Uh, easy. Easy mode. Uh, okay. We will keep this. Tap plan for our opponent. And passes. Well, shelter thicket. Goo. We would like to draw land. Glacial fortress. And, ooh, knight of grace. Huh. We did, we took out all of our stuff that's good against that. Well, hinterland harbor. Play sorcerer spyglass. Many, many counters. Well, name to fairy. Pass the turn. Opponent gets in with knight of grace. Yup. Down to 18. Ooh, another Knight of Grace. All right, opponent's putting the pressure on. Plays a forest. I'll play the mountain spring. Grab a swamp. Pass the turn. All right, we need one more one more land to get to this Carnage Tyrant. Rivulet. There's the Ascanta. Opponent gets in for four and passes. <sighs> we wanted to land there. Well, let's Doomfall, get rid of a creature, or eat a counter. All right, opponent negates. Well, do we draw the land for Carnage Tyrant? We really need to untap land this next turn. As Kanta leaves it on top. Gets in for four. Well, come on, untap land. Opponent passes. Oh, tap land. All right. Not ideal, not ideal. Pass the turn. Goes digging with Supreme Will. Yep. As Kanta mills, land. Gets in for four, so we're down to six. Yep. Opponent passes. Well, all we can do here is play Carnage Tyrant, play Fetid Pools, pass the turn. And we'll see. We'll see what our opponent's got. This does slow down the Night Beats. Supreme Will. Yep. Cycles. They're getting close to flipping this search to Mills a card. Two cards in hand. Three cards in hand. Plays a land. Springs. Gets a land. Opponent. Passing. Hmm. That's a second Carnage Tyrant. Attack with Carnage Tyrant. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Play Carnage Tyrant number two. Pass the turn. Uh, we might just jake our opponent out with these Carnage Tyrants. They get to flip their search for his Kanta, but they need to be able to answer Carnage Tyrant. Lips, Mills cast out. Bonnet. Oh! All right. Okay. We were not predicting Sylvan Awakening, and we are dead. All right. All right. All right. Okay. That was a card we did not see coming. Sure. Well, opponent got us with that. Well, run it back. All right, we're on the play. And okay, we'll keep this. It is not super fast, but we do have a negate. Forest, go. Scatter Grove. Opponent passes. Well, Hinterland Harbor, go. Tap land for our opponent. Come on, three mana ramp spell. Oh my god. Well, on turn five, we are going to make some zombies, hopefully. A lot of hour of promises. Opponent finds an island. Spring. Okay. It's a forest. Opponent passing. We'll play Rivulet. Pass the turn. Tap land. I mean, we gotta start going for it. Ooh, Carnage Tyrant 2. Play the forest. Our promise. Opponent, counter one. Pass the turn. Please, no Teferi. Hour of promise. All right. Well, it's Hour of Promise Wars. Opponent does not get zombies, though. Yep. Desert, dual land. Opponent passes. We'll play Scavenger Grounds. Play Hour of Promise. Get Field of Ruin. And let's take Deadlands. Get some zombies, pass the turn. Approach of the second sun. Okay, gain some life. Opponent, passing. Double negates, nice. Get in with the zombies. Hit our opponent. Play arch. 
play Hour of Promise. Get Rootbound Craig and Rootbound Craig. Pass the turn. Bonnet. All right. Approach of the second son. So we will negate that. Opponent passing. Apex of power. Spring. Well, get in with our zombies. Hit our opponent. Hmm. 8 plus 7 is 15. All right. Well, I guess that's how we do it. Play Carnage Tyrant. And in theory, we're presenting lethal. Opponent. Knight of Grace. Okay. Opponent's passing. Well, go attacking. Opponent blocks. Drops to a low life total. Two. Spring. Grab an island. Pass the turn. Supreme Will. All right, so Field of Ruin. Shuffle away the approach. Grab a Swamp. Maybe we should just let our opponent take it and try to negate it. Although that plan still works because they only have seven lands. So if they find it, we still get to just negate it and they can't stop it. What do you got, opponent? Ooh, Sweeper. All right, opponent. Gets in. Hits us to 17. I mean, we got to negate. Negate, fumigate. Opponent passes. We untap. And opponent scoops it up. And we got there. Well, we got the combo at game one. Games two and three, we had to fight through a ton of counters. And uh, Carnage Tyrant doing what it's supposed to do against counter decks in the sideboard. Sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are looking to Apex of Power in standard. And this hand's fine. I mean, we got lands. Even some pretty pretty sweet lands. I went on a basic land shopping spree and got a bunch of, uh, of sweet ones. Mirage is still just so good. The basics are so good. But this hand's fine. Glimmer, Hour of Promise. It's not fast, but hopefully that's... Ugh. All right, we're going to need to find a sweeper. Well, Mountain Goo... Getting in with Sky Marcher. Yup. Down to 18. Sure. Opponent. More Sky Marchers. Ugh, Dauntless Bodyguard. Okay. So many one drops. Opponent passes. Well, Girl from the Ashes is not the worst. Girl from the Ashes. Grab a mountain. Pass the turn. And then hopefully we get to our big top end stuff soon. Opponent. Gets in for six. Down to 12. Yup. And Militia Bugler goes digging for something. There's Apex of Power. Well, play Oasis, Hour of Promise. Get Rivulet Oasis. Make some zombies past the turn. I think we need to, like, glimmer into removal. Found it. More Sky Marchers. Holy mother of mercy. All four. Uh, that's something. Opponent gets in with the Flyers and Bugler. All right, so double block bugler. Yeah, we are. There's no way we beat four sky marchers unless we hit a sweeper. So come on, sweeper. Down to eight. Opponent passes. Well, I mean, let's glimmer. Good cards, but do not save us. All right, and we are dead. Well, that was a that was an awkward awkward hand, and we did not find our sweeper. Bring in the sweltering suns. Bring in the two magma sprays. Bring in palaka worm. Go down. Maybe we gotta cut Fight with Fire, cut maybe one Glimmer, one Brass's Bounty, and I guess one Girl from the Ashes. Try it like that. All right, we are on the play, and we just don't have the lands. All right, we'll keep this. Hinterland Harbor to the bottom. Calder Thicket, go. Planes for our opponent. Dollar's Bodyguard. Opponent's just literal white weenie. Island, go. Well, we're gonna need red mana to even be able to cast Swelter Exuds. Bowden, gonna get in for two. Yup, down to 18. Land, Knight of Grace. <sighs> Play Field of Ruin, pass the turn. Well, come on, lands. Opponent, gonna get in for four, down to 14. Yup, wouldn't mind our opponent playing a non-basic so we could Field of Ruin. All right, there's Chef at Dunes. There's Monument, um, okay. Resolves. So end of turn, Field of Ruin, grab a mountain, play Oasis, and I think we gotta pass. I think we gotta wait one more turn for Sweltering Suns. Planes for our opponent. Goes to combat, gets in. Yeah, let's take it, down to 10. Yep, and see what our opponent can do. Aviary Mechanic, picks up Dauntless Bodyguard. Dauntless Bodyguard, yep. Well, let's Magma Spray Bodyguard. Bonus X. And passes. All right. Well, I mean, Sweltering Suns. We really needed a land there. Land into Brass's Bounty would have been so good. But we Sweltering Suns pass the turn. 
All right, Angel of Invention, not ideal. Yep, comes down, makes servos, passes, and all right, we scoop it up. Well, sometimes you get mana screwed and there's not much you can do about it. All right, uh, against the odds time, we are mulliganing in standard, playing some Apex of Power, Desert to the bottom, Island, Goo. So, I mean, this hand's okay. It's not good against control, and looks like control. Island for our opponent. Well, rootbound Craig Goo. Opponent. Ooh, Spire of Industry. All right, it's not traditional. Oh, it's Storm. Good God. Opponent passes. Well, Hinterland Harbor and Spring for a Mountain. Pass the turn. A Braid is helpful. Oh, I don't know what our opponent's playing. Opponent passing. We'll play Hinterland Harbor. Let's no zombie our promise. Okay, counter spell. All right, all right, all right. Opponent, inspiring statuary. Well, we gotta kill that, unfortunately. Well, a Braid statuary. Play Hinterland Harbor. Pass the turn. Sigh. Ornithopter. Opponent passing. We'll play Rivulet, and I think we just do this now. Our Devastation. We don't want our opponent to start drawing with Sigh. Prophetic Prism draws a card. And a land. And Prophetic Prism draws a card. All right. Well, let's... Actually, let's play the forest. Draw a couple cards. All right, our promise and glimmer are fine. Opponent, passing. Oh, play Oasis, play our promise. Let's get Sheltered Thicket and Ifner Deadlands. Pass the turn. All right, opponent's gonna mini paradoxical outcome. Well, that's glimmer. Bottom put on top. Ooh, a braid is pretty good. Assuming our opponent can't just win here, which they shouldn't be able to. Land for our opponent. Prophetic Prism draws a card. Mox Amber. Prophetic Prism draws a card. Opponents passing. Well, get in with our zombies. Hit our opponent. Play Search for his Kanta. Cycle Shelter Thicket. Play Hinterland Harbor. Pass the turn. Okay, okay, okay. We will see. Land for our opponent. Brawl's Expertise. Okay. Bounces our zombies. Plays Reservoir. Sure. Opponent's passing. Well, blow up Reservoir. Untap. Search for his Kanta. Ooh. Whoa, opponent scoops it up? Okay. Was trying to figure out if we could do everything in the same turn, but our opponent solved the problem for us by scooping it up. So we bring in Sorcerer's Spyglass, Sorcerer's Spyglass. Negates. Doom Falls. We go down Harness Lightning. We go down Sweltering Sun. We go down Fight with Fire. Maybe go down like one Brass's Bounty, one Hour of Devastation, and one Grow from the Ashes. Try it like that. Ah, all right. I guess we try this. This is an awkward hand. Island for our opponent. Island, you. Spire of Industry. All right, well, Hinterland Harbor, Sorcerer's Spyglass. That is a pretty good hand. Good golly. All right. Name Reservoir. Pass the turn. Opponent can bounce it with Brawl's expertise, though. Opponent. Ether Hub. And Sigh. Oh, and they drew Ornithopter. All right. Yep. I'll play Field of Ruin. Blow up Spire of Industry. Grab a Mountain. All right. We get a Mountain. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gonna go attacking. Yep. Hits us for two. Down to 18. And passes. Interesting. I'll play Oasis. Pass the turn. Mox Amber. Oh, and it actually makes mana. Oh, God. That's a good draw. Opponent. Gets in. Gets in. Hits us for two. Yep. Down to 16. Inspiring Statuary. Makes a Thopter. Okay. Well, we are going to Glimmer. Well, I guess we keep both of these. Put on top. Put on top. Untap. Play Hinterland Harbor. A Braid Statuary. Oh my goodness, a top deck paradoxical. Oh my god. All right. Well, I think that's the game. Grab a mountain. Yeah, that that does it. Oh my god. Well, yeah. Yep, opponent. I think it's time to scoop now, honestly. Inspiring statuary. Sure. Opponent goes attacking. We can't resolve Hour of Devastation. And then our opponent wins next turn. Yeah, opponent gets in. Sure. Down to 12. Ornithopter, replayed, makes a Thopter, passes. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, we cast our devastation, it gets countered, and the game ends. Yep, opponent drew it, sure. Pass the turn. Opponent, gonna go attacking. Sure. Gets in with the dorks. Yep, down to five. Uh huh. Ether Flux Reservoir. That was an odd way to go about it, but okay. Well, I mean, I guess we're still alive because our opponent did that in a very awkward way. Hinterland Harbor. So mill Hinterland, spring to mind, and we scoop it up. Well, well, well. All right, we get to play first. Well, okay. I mean, hopefully we draw some ways to interact. Forest go. I wish we could just cont on to, but wasn't meant to be. Opponent's passing. Rootbound Craig go. A braid is good. That's a good draw. Island for our opponent. And passes. Well, there's our spring to mine. So play Oasis and spring. Wow. Opponent is aggressive with their counters. Island for our opponent. Inspiring statuary. Well, come on, blue source. Blue source. It's a tap blue source. Well, a braid statuary. Play fetid pools. Pass the turn. Spire industry. Karn sign of Urza. Opponent takes up, gets more Karns, and passes. That's not bad. Well, play Search for Iskanta. Play a Mountain. Play Sorceress Spyglass on Karn. An opponent's hand is... All right. Opponent's hand's not great, really. Pass the turn. They do have a lot of annoying counters. Oh my god, they drew another Inspiring Statuary. All right. Iskanta. Hmm. All right. Keep Hinterland Harbor. Play Hinterland Harbor. Draw a couple cards. Pass the turn. All right, there's Reservoir. Opponent's passing. Okay, Iskanta. Mill Spring. Play the Island and Brass's Bounty. Pass the turn. Well, I mean, we should be able to Apex a power next turn. Prophetic Prism. Gains a life. Draws a card. And Puzzle Knot. Gains a life. All right, well, Apex of Power. It is all about you. Opponent's passing. They're tapped out. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. Search for Iskanta, mill spring, draw spring, play field of ruin, and all right, all right, all right, it's apex of power time. Apex of power. And opponent just scoops it up? They scoop it up? Oh my goodness, we got there. It's working, it's working, it's working. Uh, apex of power, I think we would have won with that pile. Is our pile still there? All right, so Apex of Power, we would have Brasses Bountied to make more mana, and then we would have Double Doomfalled. Uh, we would have just cast all of that stuff, and then I don't think our opponent could win from there. <laughs> Sweet. All right, against the odds time, we are looking to Apex of Power in Standard, and this sounds fine. I mean... Ideally, these hour promises will be great. Our best draw is essentially any early game stuff, but especially ramp for three or removal. Now that we're playing mono red. Well, forest, goo. See if we're fast enough. Planes. Earthshaker, Kenra. <laughs> the damage is piling up. Well, come on, ramp or removal. Opponent gets in, gets in. Down to 17. Brass is bounty. All right, uh, that's expensive. I don't know if just playing something on turn five is gonna be fast enough. Opponent, oh dear God, so much damage. Oh boy, all right, not looking good, not looking good. Yeah, we're super dead. Well, this one's been a bit of a bust. Opponent, Reckless Raptor. I don't even know if we, Path of Metal. All right, we're just literally dead. So we will scoop it up. Yeah, a little bit slow, a little bit slow. So Magma Spray's in, Sweltering Sun's in, maybe an Hour of Glory in, Palaka Worm in. Go down Brass's Bounty. Go down the Fight with Fire. Go down one Grove from the Ashes, one Glimmer of Genius, and one Marionette Master. Try it like that. Ugh. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll keep this. We got Removal, Removal Sweeper. Shelter Thicket, go. Mountain. And Bomb at Courier. Opponent, getting in. Yep, down to 19. Well, uh, play Oasis, pass the turn. Gonna need a Hour Promise or something at some point. Inspiring Vantage. And Earthshaker, Kendra. Well, Magma Spray Earthshaker. Opponent getting in for one. Yup, and passes. Uh, play the Swamp, pass the turn. Clifftop Retreat. Another Earthshaker. Yup, opponent. Goes attacking. Well, let's abrade Bomet Courier. Down to 16. Play Hinterland Harbor. Pass the turn. 
Come on, our promise. Another Earthshaker. It's a lot of Earthshaker, Kenras. All right, opponent's getting in. And let's take it. Down to 12. Play Oasis, pass the turn. Mountain. Opponent gets in. All right, down to eight. Oh, this is super awkward. There's a Hazaret. Man, we need a red source. Opponent passes. All right, well, play Deadlands. Hour of Promise. Get Arch of Araska and a Rootbound Craig. Make some zombies. See if we survive. Land for our opponent. Discards a seal away. Lightning strikes our face. All right. So we're dropping to literal one. That's not ideal. Block, block. Drop to one. I mean, we get to hour of devastation. But our opponent is a land away from winning. Maybe we were too greedy and should have just taken a another red source for this harness lightning. All right. There's on crop crasher. And uh, we will scoop it up. All right. Uh, Against the odds time, we are reaching for the <laughs> apex of power. Good God. This is the most expensive hand in the history of magic. Oh no, just kidding. We found a more expensive hand. I don't know how, but we did. All right. Uh, well, our plan here is that we draw a red source. We're playing a creature deck. We sweltering suns away our opponent's entire board. Draw some ramp spells and get to apex of power. Admittedly a long shot, but you never know. Could happen. Tap land. Opponent passing. Scavenger grounds. Goo. Mountain. Ugh. Arcus bloodfast. That's a lot of card draw. Opponent passes. All right. Well, let's grow from the ashes. No kicker. Grab island. Pass the turn. Field of Ruin. Opponent passing. Well, now I think we're going to start cycling Sweltering Suns. Field of Ruins. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, grab the mountain. Opponent. Tap land. All right. Let's cycle. Search for his Kanta. Ugh, hmm. Well, play Search for his Kanta. Pass the turn. Opponent is going to get to draw so many cards. Draws a card. Draws a card. Yep, down to 14. I don't know what our opponent's playing. Grixis Dragons, maybe? With main deck Bloodfast? Doomfall. Okay. Opponent passing. They did take our ramp. All right. Search for his Kanta. No, we can't. Can't mill the land. We do need lands. Play Sheltered Thicket. Opponent. Drawn some cards. So many cards drawn with Argus Bloodfast. Mountain. Draws a card. Opponent's passing. Yep. Gonna discard the hand size. Yahani's expertise. Search for Skanta. Well, we'll keep the land. I mean, we're to the point where one more land lets us just hard cast Brass's bounty. So now we're really just hoping to hit a untap land. Opponent draws. All right. Decides to just pass. Oh, just kidding. Draws a card. Land. All right. Come on, untap land for Brass's bounty. Search for Skanta. That's an untap land. Rootbound Craig. Brass's bounty. Pass the turn. And now we should be able to win next turn. Opponent's back to drawing. I think I think it's just over. I think they just don't have cards that do anything against what we're doing. Opponent's passing. Discard some carry Zeb's expertises. Hmm. I guess we can do that. It's so much less fun. All right. Leave it on top. I know. We get to Apex of Power and still fight with fire if we want to. Because we're going to make mana off Apex of Power. So Apex of Power. Ew. There's all of our lands. All right. Well, kick a fight with fire. We were hoping to hit like sweet combo -y stuff, but I mean, we'll, we'll take 10 damage to the face if you insist. <laughs> that was the weirdest matchup I've ever seen. Our opponent just has a deck that does not line up with our deck. They also don't appear to be playing many creatures. So I think we're going to go down some removal, go up negates, go up doom falls, and I guess we'll go up a carnage tyrant. All right, yeah, let's let's try it like that. All right. Well, I mean, barring a duress, we have turn two search for his conto, which is great. Tap plan for our opponent. Fetid pools, go. Ether hub. Ugh, gifted Aetherborn. We took out all of our removal. I'll play the forest. Play search for his Kanta. This gifted Aetherborn might be a legit, <laughs> a legit issue. As strange as that sounds. Hazaret's favor. Opponents on the spice. Are they going to do it? No. Okay. Gets in for two. Down to 18. Opponent passes. Search for his Kanta. 
Yes, I guess we got a mill apex for now. Ugh. I'll play Field of Ruin, pass the turn. Bone it. Gonna get it. Hit us for two, gain some life. Sure. Tap land. Another Hazret's Favor. Oh, we're gonna die to this Gifted Aetherborn. Well, blow up Dragon Skull Summit. I think we gotta take Swamp. We might actually have to hard cast Marionette Masters. Well, keep our promise. Play Oasis. We do need to find a land now. Our promise helps. Bone it. Oh, another Gifted Aetherborn. Yeah, we, we might lose to Gifted Aetherborns. Probably should not have taken out all of our removal, I guess. Yep. Wow, opponent, opponent's gonna get frisky. Get in there. Yep. Hit us for eight. Well, untap land makes up zombies to block would be nice. Opponent loses, gifted etherboard. Search for his Kanta. We'll keep the untap land. That's good. Play rootbound Craig. Play Hour of Promise. Get Rivulet and Scavenger Rounds. Make some zombies. All right, so at least we have a bit of defense. Pass the turn. Field of Ruin. Opponent. All right, no pumping. Well, we are going to double block. Try to get rid of gifted etherborn. All right, kills a zombie. Sure, we lose a zombie. Opponent's up to 36. Search for his Kanta. Ah, keep the land. Play the land. Actually, let's just marionette master. Make some servos. Pass the turn. This has been a very odd game. Opponent goes to combat. Uh-oh. Pumps, pumps. Does this mean we're dying? Oh, dear. Goes attacking. Well, I mean... I'm afraid of Thud. We're gonna block with all three. All right, drain our opponent a little bit. All the way down to 39. Chandra kills Marionette Master. Yep. Search for his Kanta. Mill the land. Draw Grow from the Ashes. Well, let's grow from the ashes. Grab a mountain. Play Marionette Master. Make servos. Pass the turn. Takes up Chandra. Down to six. Kills Marionette Master. All right. Well, there goes all of our Marionette Masters. We're going to have to win this the very old-fashioned way. Mill, transform. Play Sorceress Spyglass. Name Captivating Crew. Kill Chandra. Play Carnage Tyrant. Pass the turn. All right. Opponent plays the land. There's Captivating Crew. All right, opponent passing. Sheltered Thicket. Play Sheltered Thicket. Get in with Carnage Tyrant. Play Brass's Bounty. Pass the turn. Oh, this game. This game, this game, this game. Opponent goes to combat. Yep, no pumping. No attacks. All right, so we get one activation. Well, we found Apex of Power. Well, let's see. Hazard's Favor. Sure, opponent passes. That's another Apex of Power. Well, Apex of Power, see what happens. All right, add red mana, green mana, Hour of Promise, Arch of Araska, and eh, Oasis, I guess. Then we cast Brass's Bounty, Glimmer of Genius. Um, Put on top, put on top. Doomfall, get rid of the captain, go to combat, attack, attack, hit our opponent, and pass the turn. Okay, I mean, we get to run it back next turn. Hour of Devastation clears most of our board. All right, opponent, passing. Negate's not the worst. So first off, Apex of Power. A lot of not great stuff. Add red mana, cast our Promise. Get a land, get a land. Cast Spring, get a land. Cast Brass's Bounty, make a bunch of treasure. Doomfall Exile Mode, take Cast Down. I mean, we might as well spend this treasure because we got nothing else to do with it. We would like to find the Palaka Worm. So draw a couple cards. There's Palaka Worm, all right, that's good. Now we get out of the danger zone. Oh my goodness, we're piecing it together. I think we're still gonna win this game. Just as like the weirdest rap deck in the history of standard. So sack the treasures, Palaka Worm, gain some life. Good Lord. Oh my goodness. Yep, back up to 13. Spring, get our last land. Go attacking, hit our opponent. 
Good God. Pass the turn. And a post scoops it up. Oh my goodness. Well, that was not pretty. Thank goodness we brought in those worms, or we would have been so in trouble. Well, Apex of Power still kind of won us the game. Not in the traditional combo sense, or traditional combo sense, but the card draw and the freeness of casting stuff definitely helped. Sweet. All right. Against the odds time, we are Apexing of Power in standard and i mean this hand's good unfortunately we're gonna need to draw a ramp so rootbound craig go mountain for our opponent and passes i'll well, play rivulet pass the turn opponent scavenger grounds and passing well play the forest pass the turn forest for our opponent and beneath his hands all right looks like our opponent is also ramping somehow gets a swamp I'll play Oasis past the turn. Opponent. Tap land. Come on, our promise. Off the top. All right. Scavenger grounds go. Arch of Araska. Ugh. Sunbird's invocation. That's not a good sign. Opponent. Passes. All right. Well, spring. Grab a mountain. Play Arch of Araska past the turn. I mean, this might still be fine. Tap land for our opponent. And oh my god, another Sunbird's Invocation. Finds Marionette Master, I assume. All right, so Marionette Master, kill it. Opponent makes servos and passes. Well, I mean, cast Brass's Bounty. Pass the turn, and we will see. Are we dead? Land for our opponent. Gets it. Yep, down to 17. And passes? Okay, well, play the forest. Well, we gotta go for it. Apex of power? All right, add red. Brass's bounty. Okay, and then we sack some treasure. Actually, we should have done this the other way. We should have definitely hour of promise first. Hour of promise. Get field of ruin and rivulet. Brass's bounty. Marionette Master. If our opponent can kill it on the stack, we don't just win. Ugh. A braid. Sunbird's Invocation. Nothing. Sunbird's Invocation. Into a braid. Well, crack, crack. Crack, 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 crack. Glimmer. Uh, bottom and I guess top. All right. Uh, and then crack, crack. Drain our opponent a bit. Oh my goodness, this <laughs> this turn. Yep, so we lose zombie. That was a pretty insane turn, although we don't just win. Make servos, play search for his Kanta, and pass the turn. All right, well, now we just gotta find another apex of power. Land for our opponent. Oh no. Hour of devastation spins into glimmer. Two sunbirds invocations is a lot. Yep. And our promise. Get some lands. Sweeps the board. And passes. Oh, beneath the sands. Into nothing. And beneath the sands. All right, we're going to have to do something quickly. All right, well, here we go. Search for his Kanta. Oh, uh, no. Transform. That's exactly what we were looking for. All right, play Rootbound Craig. And play Apex of Power. Ugh. All right, add green. Hour of promise. Get land, land. Hour of promise. Get land, land. And I guess we just pass. That was not game ending. Well, let's see what our opponents got with their double sunbirds invocation. Blows up our Escanta. Grab a forest. Well, let's glimmer. Bottom, uh, Brass's Bounty. Bottom, bottom. Ugh, all right. We were hoping for an apex of power. I'll go to combat, get in with our zombies, hit our boat it. Cycle Fetid Pools. All right, play Hinterland Harbor. I guess we're just kicking fight with fire and hoping for the best. So, kick it. Whoo, and it worked. All right. Oh my goodness, that was a wild match, but... Uh, three Apex of Powers, apparently just enough to sneak past our opponent. Okay, bring in the gates, go down. 
Hour of Devastation and Sweltering Suns. Go down a braid for Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Tyrant? Try it like that. Ah, uh, okay. Lots of tap lands, but we'll give this a go. Tap land for our opponent. Yep. Uh, play Fetid Pools. Pass the turn. Tap lands. Opponent passes. Ooh. All right. Well, that's not bad. Let's get down search for his Kanta. Pass the turn. Search will hopefully help smooth things out here. Opponents passing. Search for Escanta. Um, yeah, let's mill our promise. Play Rootbound Craig. Pass the turn. Opponent. Tap land. And passes. We do want to land, especially a desert. Harness Lightning. Mill it. Well, yeah, let's spring. Grab a mountain. Play Hinterland Harbor. All right, tap land. And cycles. Opponent passes. Search for his Kanta. Eh, we'll keep Hinterland Harbor. Play Hinterland Harbor. <sighs> Let's just pass. Opponent. All right, passing. Search for his Kanta. Hmm. All right, we'll keep Glimmer. Actually, let's Glimmer main phase to try to hit a land. Bounty bottom, Deadlands top. All right, there's a desert. Pass the turn. Sunbirds in vacation. Yeah, I think we got to negate that. Opponent passing. All right, search for Skanta. Mill search. Play scavenger grounds. And I think we just brass his bounty. And pass the turn. So in theory, next turn we get to apex of power and hopefully just win. Opponent could have counters though. Ugh, Rivers Rebuke. Well, <laughs> so much for that plan. No apex of power this turn. So play Rootbound Craig. Play Hour of Promise. Get Rivulet and Arch Varaska. Play Search for Iskanta. Pass the turn. Now hopefully next turn, assuming we're not dead. All right, Pona has Brass's bounty. All right, we'll see. We will see if this resolves. Search for Iskanta. Mill Marionette Master. Transform. Play the land. Play Apex of Power. Add red. Play Brass's bounty. Oh, we, we are comboing. Brass's bounty. Make some mana. Play Brass's bounty? Yeah, play Brass's bounty. Make some mana. Play... <laughs> Apex of power number two from our hand? Yeah, play Apex of power number two. Oh my god, this turn. Ugh. Add red mana. Our promise. Get a couple lands. Now we... Kick a grow from the ashes. Get our last two basics. Play Brass's Bounty. Number three of the turn. And now we have enough treasures that even if our opponent can kill Marionette Master in response, we win. Marionette Master. The ultimate combo turn. Two Apexes of Power, three Brass's Bounty, with ramp in between, 21 treasures left over. And uh, I think that does it. I think that does it. Fabricate. That might have looked excessive, but getting enough treasures that we can win even if our opponent can kill Marionette Master is actually important. And we got the GG's, and that was <laughs> probably the most ridiculous combo turn we've had so far. Two Apexes of Power, three Brasses Bounty. I don't even know how many spells we cast that turn. We basically just like played our entire deck. Uh, counters, sacrifice, drain, and opponent scoops it up. I mean, we could even cast another apex of power, and, uh, we'll take it, we'll take it. Good lord, the combo turns, the combo turns, the combo turns. Uh, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> sweet. So what did we learn this week about apex of power combo? for standard and overall the deck actually worked pretty well uh we ended up playing six matches we won four of them which is like 66 point whatever six seven match win percentage as far as games we played 14 we won eight of them which uh you know reasonable 57 percent overall though basically we did really good against non-aggro decks we played two aggro decks we played red white aggro we also played against against mono white 
aggro, I guess, white weenie. And those matchups were hard. I don't think they were quite as bad as it probably looked during our games because we didn't really draw our sweepers and whatever, but our deck is not super fast. I mean, we're built around a 10 mana spell. We got tons of ramp. We do have some removal, but it's not like overloaded with removal like a control deck. So we can definitely just get run over by aggro decks. That is a thing that can definitely happen, and we saw that in our matches. On the other hand, we played against opposing ramp decks, we played against some brews, we played against storm, and in those matchups, our deck really functioned pretty well, because if we have time to just play our ramp spells, play Apex of Power, odds of us winning the game are pretty good, and Apex of Power, with our combo pieces, the Brasses, Bounties, the Marionette Masters, it was super insane. Like, there were definitely times in the best of our games where we just, like, cast Apex of Power, cast two or three Brasses bounties to make just like infinite mana, has another Apex of Power, get a bunch more cards, do some ramping, eventually finish it off with Marionette Master. We also tend our opponent's face with fight with fire. So the good games are pretty spectacular and pretty awesome. And resolving Apex of Power gotta be one of the sweetest cards to resolve in standard because when it comes off it is just so spectacular. So many crazy things happen. So while getting run over by aggro Definitely a concern. Definitely something is going to happen. We posted a winning record, and outside of aggro, the deck was pretty fun. It did some really cool things, so I guess I'm pretty happy with it. Also, only 153 bucks, so not ridiculously expensive, although, I mean, not ultra cheap. The Carnage Tyrants, if it wasn't for those in the sideboard, it would be like a budget deck, but they are really important. Against the control decks, we did see Carnage Tyrant coming down, being very good and helpful there, so I don't know. The deck was sweet. We did some really cool things. Things, and when we lost, we lost super quick. So the losses even were pretty painless. Anyway, that's been Apex of Power Combo for Standard. And that's been our Against the Odds deck for this week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.